Hello everyone, it's Dr. H. Today I'm going to show you how those beeps sound like in our hearing test. Because we know when we do a hearing test, a doctor plays different beeps to us and asks us, can we hear it? What are those beeps? How do we sound like? Today I'm going to show you. Here we see a few kind of beeps from 100 hertz to 50, 500, 1000 hertz, 2000, 4000, 8000 hertz. So those are very typical beeps a doctor plays during a hearing test. Those can be used to check if there are any hearing loss on any of these particular frequencies. After the test, we will know if our hearing is normal at both ears. So let's try. That's a one sound hertz sound. That's one most valuable frequency our brain can detect. Let's hear it again. One sound hertz. Then 5,000 Hz. It's lower. The 500 Hz uh, sounds like a, a very low pitched and uh, like a, a very, uh, I would say, uh, low in the tone that you can feel. Then two sound hertz. That's high. That's even higher. Let's hear them one by one. Five hundred. A thousand. 2,000, 4,000. Okay, now I'm taking off this hearing protection instrument. This instrument protects me, protects my ears. It protects me from being damaged by the very loud sound I'm, be, I'm played. So in a real hearing test, you won't be, you won't be uh, asked to listen to such a high volume. It's, it's softer and softer. This is just for demonstration purpose. Okay, then uh, those are frequencies and those are beeps at different frequencies. A doctor or an audiologist plays in a quiet sound chamber like this. So we are sitting inside a quiet room and an audiologist will test our hearing through a device. The device can play different beeps here. The procedure of the test is the audiologist adjust the volume of the device and place a beep softer and softer until we cannot hear it anymore. At that particular volume, that's the lowest volume we can hear on one particular frequency. The audiologist will write down that volume as our hearing threshold. After testing two years, the audiologist will give us a chart. The chart is so-called audiogram. 
This is how the whole procedure works. In a nutshell, when we get hearing test, a audiologist will first examine our ears to make sure everything is okay in and out. Then they will sit us in a quiet room with special headphones covering our two ears. Then we will hear a series of beeps at different frequencies in one year at a time. When we hear a beep, we press a button. If we don't hear anything, we are idle, doing nothing. The testing procedure is pretty simple, but the results are very meaningful to us. As we mentioned, a beep will get softer and softer until we cannot hear it anymore, which means, yeah, they will get lower and lower in volume until we barely hear it. Those beeps are at different frequencies, as we just hear. They're low pitched or high pitched. Low pitch like, high pitch like. So they are both played sequentially. A very typical starting point of the frequency is a sound hertz because a sound hertz is a very valuable frequency. Our human beings are very smart in many ways. For example, if a newborn baby cries, you guess what frequency, what, what frequency is his cry or her cry mainly composed of? Yes, a sound hurts because the baby wants us to pay attention. So the baby cries at the most audible frequency, a sound hurts. Our brain is very sensitive to a sound hurts. So sometimes you will even say, baby crying is so annoying because the sound of a baby crying is nothing you can ignore. Your brain will pay attention. So let's get back to our information here. After our hearing test, the results will be presented on a chart, so-called audiogram. So audiogram is the test result of hearing test. So we will hear those beeps in a quiet room sequentially. As I mentioned, many audiologists take priority as one sound hurts. Because you know, if we have a hearing problem, we go and see the audiologist. So some of the uh, patients suffer from hearing loss. So even though some people have hearing loss, they are still very sensitive to sound hurts. That's why a common and a very useful starting beep or starting frequency is a sound hertz. Then, very typically, audiologists will then test 500 hertz, 250. Some even test 100 hertz, but not always. Then the audiologist goes the other way, tests 2,000 hertz, then 4,000 and 8,000. So that's a very typical sequence of beeps. 
the, this is the underneath reason of the sequence. Finally, we will see our hearing capability. Our hearing capability is shown in an audiogram. So as you can see, the x-axis 250, 1000, 4000, 8000. The y-axis is degree of hearing loss. Minus 10, no hearing loss. 120, worst hearing loss. For the two curves, right here, circle, left ear, cross. For example, at a frequency of 500 hertz, my right ear has a hearing loss of 5. On the contrary, my left ear is worse. My left ear has a hearing loss of 10. We typically use dB as a unit. So in summary, my hearing at 500 hertz is normal. Right, 5 dB hearing loss. Left, 10 dB hearing loss. They are normal because they are in a range of minus 10 to 25. So these are considered normal hearing range. We have 25 to 40 mild hearing loss. 40 to 55 moderate hearing loss. 55 to 70 moderately severe. 70 to 90 severe hearing loss. Below 90, death. So this is the audiogram and how uh, a audiogram is related to different frequencies, different beeps. Okay, thanks for watching. See you next time. Bye-bye.